So let's move back to the NFL right quick before we jump into our previews. The Houston Texans, now they have new everything there, right? New GM, the whole front office, it looks completely different. New coach, new general manager, tons of coverage on the issues going on around Deshaun Watson, etc. And in the preseason here, they wanted to end training camp for the squad a few weeks early. And the NFL has said, mm, nah, like we, you don't get to do that. So the Texans told reporters initially that the team would be ending training camp on Thursday, two days before the preseason opener, which was Saturday night against the Green Bay Packers. The team reportedly did not want reporters to have access to various things on the field, some of which is likely related to Watson. The NFL fired back and demanded that the Texans keep their camp open. And so the current NFL rules say that daily practices must be open to the media through the 26th of August. Now, the Texans are probably going to go ahead and, and go along with this, but I find it odd that a team that could probably use as much practice as, as they could get was talking about ending practice early, and I don't know if it was just to get the reporters not to show up or if it was you know to try and hide the practices or whatever or to hide Deshaun Watson. I don't know what they were trying to do, but this seemed a little odd to me. What, what do you yeah. think about the story? I, th- I think it's really weird. I just think it's weird. I don't know any other way to say it. And and I'm I I would like, I would like an honest answer, which we're never going to get on. What is the reason behind this? But this is the because same team that, be that you, they they ended OTAs early. Remember? Yeah. It can't <laughs> be that you think we're done. Like you can't be that you think this is a finished product. Like that. That's not the answer, right? No. Because if you think this is the finished <laughs> product and you're ready to start playing football. Oh boy, boy, boy! Uh, get you get your Texan under tickets. Yes, baby. hit every under you can on on the Texans. I don't know what this bunch is doing. They, they're I can't not covering lines the first four weeks, baby. They're just not. Don't they, care. It, this this idea that like did they not know the rules? Like I wonder if the NFL had to reach out to them and be like, yo, 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 what what are you talking about? Training camp is. But it's why would closing. you want to end it early? Yeah, I don't I don't understand it. Like that's my question is what is the benefit to your organization to end it early? I, you got me. It, it did not make any sense. I'm what that that was my thought process is okay, they're not really ending it. They're just trying to get reporters to not show up for the last 2 weeks. Like I that's that's the only reasonable explanation that I can come up with. So and and then the other question is are you not going to play your preseason games? Like, you have to show up for those. Yeah, I mean, they're playing the preseason game. game. But, like, all right, so before the third preseason game, are you going to practice for it? Because you've ended training camp. Before the fourth preseason game. They were talking about training camp. Are you going to practice for these things? They were talking about ending training camp before the preseason games even begin. And then just go play the games without practice. (laughs) I, I, I don't know what to think. I... I can't explain anything. We this. thought that I Bill O'Brien what's going on in Houston. We thought Bill O'Brien was bad there. It can always get worse. We always talk about how it can't possibly get any worse than this. And we say it in our previews and stuff like that, but we are proven wrong time and time again. It can. And and sometimes does get much worse than what it originally was. I mean, this is bad. I want to know what the money difference is for this team to offer you a contract for you to say, I'll go play here instead of somewhere else. Like if, uh, if you're a $2 million player and they offer you four and they double your money, double your money, is that extra $2 million worth it to go deal with this? I mean, it, to me, no, because I like I, to win. But Well, I don't even need to win. Like, I, I like. You're talking about the difference is the team that's going to pay you two is the Detroit Lions, all right? Like, fuck it. Send me to Detroit. Like, I know it's really <laughs> cold and shitty in the wintertime, but, man, you know, I'll just drink bottled water and we'll figure it out. But this is a disaster. Yes. Yes. I don't understand it. Like, I'm not I'm not saying take $2 million, double my salary and send me to L.A. Or, you know, send me to one of these good teams, Kansas City or, or Tampa Bay. No, I'm talking about the next worst team in the league, maybe. All yes. right? Yes. How about a shit show of itself? <laughs> what are we doing? I, none of it makes sense to me. 
This is, the, makes this is the weirdest camp story I may have ever heard, and we've been through some weird camp shit. Yeah, the the OTA like, thing was weird. Yeah, but like I want to I want to end camp. We're just starting camp. Yes. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> How do you practice for the preseason game? How do you know who's going to work and who's going to start and who's not? How do you cut your roster down if you don't see these guys every day? That there has to be something else that they are not wanting the people to see. But no, that's it. All right, so you just want to practice behind closed doors, right? I, like I that think, has to be it. Like, yeah. like we're going to go into some underground bunker that the billionaire owns, and we're going to practice there, right? That's yeah. Like, that's that what has I to be it. And we're just going to cancel mini camp, and then we're going to go keep going in mini camp somewhere else that nobody knows about. And the NFL said. Nah, y'all have to keep practicing until the twenty sixth. I mean, I almost and, would say go ahead and not practice, but and then just like send like a spy, like, hey, report back to me if you ever want to work in the league again. What the hell is going on? I need GPS trackers on all these fools. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I mean, I don't, don't think where it'd they're be, going into what they're doing. And I don't if think they're it'd all be hard. meeting together somewhere else. Then we got a problem. And if they're not. Look, man, I'm a firm believer. You want to jack your team up? You're an owner. Be my guest. I'm going to tell you this. After this year, we're all going to take a vote, and you're going to get voted out, okay? Peyton Manning is going to be in some group to buy the Texans next year because you're out. We're not going to put up with this shit. I'd let them do it. I'd let them do it. It is is interesting that the NFL immediately came back and was like, no, you have to have practice open until the 26th. That's the rule. Like, this has been the rule for for years. God, this practices is, are public. This is this is insane. Yeah, but I don't know it's that nuts. it's a. I, I'm curious. Is it a public thing? Like, were they just saying we're going to end camp? At, from what they said, like they told. Let's see. Like, are they on. specifically doing it because they don't want the media around? The Texans told reporters that the team would be ending training camp on Thursday, two days before their preseason opener Saturday night against the Green Bay Packers. It says the team reportedly did not want reporters to have access to various things on the field, some of which is likely related to Watson. Now, it, that's one thing. You, but, you don't end camp two weeks early because of that. Yeah. I, I just... Unless you're going to keep doing camp somewhere else. That's the only explanation, right? That's it. I'm, I'm, we've said it a million times, Gary, and I'm never going to get over this. When I was younger, I thought people in big, powerful positions who made lots of money were all smart because you can't get to that place and be a moron. And we're just, I was just wrong. I was a child. And I didn't know any better. Now I'm an adult. Now I'm a grown-up, and I fully understand that everybody in that building – Everybody who runs that organization is dumber than anybody I know. And I know some of the dumbest sons of bitches on the planet. I hang out with morons. I am a moron. And I think we're all smarter than them. (laughs) We're just born into dumbass families and we didn't make anything of ourselves. And these guys, for some reason, found their way into a NFL locker room and rah, rah, rah themselves all the way to the top. You think this might be part of the reason why Deshaun Watson wants out of there? Well, now, the only thing I can think of is somebody's talked to him and said, hey, we're going to try to cover, you know, stop the coverage of you. And so now they're taking it on the chin to try to protect him, and they're just embarrassing themselves. Yeah, they are certainly doing that. They are certainly anyway, doing that. That's insane. Uh, it's all insane. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.